Hello, my name is uh, Mark Pilon. I'm a professor of genetics at the University of Gothenburg in Sweden, and I will uh, present a brief summary of a review that we recently wrote for BioEssays. The title of our review is Packer Proteins and the Evolution of a Superpower Eating All Kinds of Fats. The main theme of the review is that there is great variation in the fatty acid composition of our different diets and this can have a dramatic uh, consequence for membrane composition because the phospholipids that make up our membranes contain fatty acids that are mostly obtained from the diet and the danger here is if you eat a diet rich in saturated fatty acids you could end up with rigid membranes because saturated fatty acids in phospholipids tend to order very uh, neatly forming semi-rigid structures in membranes uh, in other words causing membrane rigidification now we have identified a group of evolutionarily conserved proteins and in human one of them is called adipo r2 that sense membrane rigidification that results from eating saturated fatty acid and then become activated and signal to produce unsaturated fatty acids and promote their incorporation into phospholipids so that now we restore a proper balance of saturated monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fatty acids in the phospholipids to achieve the optimal or near optimal membrane properties in other words we can eat saturated fat because there exist proteins like adipore 2 that compensate for their potential rigidification effects in our review we mention several evolutionarily conserved uh, proteins similar to adipore 2 they belong to the pecker family of proteins uh, several of them act as serimidases that can produce the signaling molecule sphingosine 1-phosphate. We also explain the latest version of the model by which these proteins regulate membrane fluidity uh, and how they are turned on and off, on by multimerization, off by ubiquitination and degradation. We describe certain dramatic ultrastructural membrane defects that occur in cells that are lacking this uh, guardian of the membranes and then we explain how fat is digested releasing fatty acids that can end up challenging the membrane properties and name adipore 2 and several other proteins that act as guardians of membrane homeostasis so this was a brief overview of our review written in uh, bioessays i hope you enjoyed it Thank you.